Nick Ferrari at breakfast on LBC. Call 0345 6060 973. Eight minutes for eight is the time. As we said earlier, a bit of a grim note in history today. The strikes putting the NHS strikes, NHS strikes putting more lives at risk than ever before. The biggest walkout in the history of the NHS. So let's bring into the conversation Conservative MP and Minister for Mental Health and Women's Health Strategy, and also, I have to say, a nurse herself, Maria Caulfield, who joins me now. Thank you for coming on the show. Um, Noting, again, that you are both a nurse and I understand a member of one of the unions, the RCN. What is your message to your fellow professionals who are out on the picket lines this morning? Good morning to you, Minister. Good morning. Um, Well, I think, you know, again, it's a a very sad day to see um, strike action and just just want to reassure patients in England that from the nursing strike action point of view, it's happening in less than half of of all trusts in England. So for the vast majority of patients, they won't be affected in terms of going for procedures and appointments uh, and operations. And if their trust is affected, they they would have been in touch with them uh, to to let them know what's happening. But obviously, we've got the ambulance strikes on top of that. And I guess my message to uh, fellow fellow union members is, that in Scotland uh, they, they have suspended strike action there because they are prepared to talk about the forthcoming year's uh, pay review from April and it would be great if in England because we are prepared to discuss um, next year's pay review uh, and working conditions, uh, it would be great if they could call off that strike action should we could get those negotiations well, um, underway The unions continually assert that there is impossible, that the no, no key minister or anyone has had from the government side has had meaningful negotiations How fair is that charge? Well, I think probably before Christmas, I think it was fair to say that pay probably wasn't on the table. But since Christmas, the Secretary of State has met with a variety of health unions almost on a weekly basis during January. And the door is open and and we want to discuss, um, you know, the forthcoming pay uh, award will start in April. So we do need to to have those negotiations. But the unions so far have pulled out of the independent pay review body process, which is very unfortunate. The government will submit its uh, evidence to to the pay review body about what's affordable, what they think that we can deliver. And we do need the unions to put their side of the argument too, so that the, uh, a fair um, pay offer can be put on the table and hopefully resolve this situation once and for all. Your colleague Grant Shapps has said while the RCN, the union of which you are a member, has behaved, quotes, responsibly, he has concerns about the ambulance unions, who he says have not supplied enough backup information and detail as to what their level of readiness. How fair is that claim? Well, I think uh, Pat Cullen has acted very fairly on, on strike days. Yes, uh, the ambulance unions, though. Yeah, no, absolutely. So the difficulty with the ambulance unions is that they are, they're they just doing their updates to their local uh, areas. So nationally, we don't have a handle on, on what strike provision is going to be made available on the day. And it's given at very short notice. So if they're not able to provide uh, emergency response, it's very then difficult to get that back up in place. And so we would like welcome the ambulance unions to, to do exactly what the RCN is doing and, and be upfront about what service levels they'll provide um, uh, ahead of strike action. I can't think of many other senior members of the the Conservative Party, indeed ministers, who are also members of a union currently in dispute with the government. How conflicted do you feel? So I do, I have to declare that as an interest, absolutely. So I wouldn't be allowed to be involved in in the negotiations myself because obviously I have uh, got a conflict of interest. But I think there are a number of of Conservatives, uh, uh, members of Parliament who are, uh, have been in unions as well, whether that's teaching unions um, or or other types uh, as well. Um, And so, you know, absolutely, we're about uh, wanting to ensure that people who uh, go out to work are able to keep more of the money uh, that they Mm. uh, earn and get a a fair deal. And I think I I get on very well with Pat Cullen you know, I'm okay. you know very respectful of her. But at the end of the day, as a, a, a government minister, I've also got responsibility to the purse strings for the taxpayer well, so that people uh, can afford uh, any pay rises that, yes. that are coming down the line. It's interesting you, you talk about purse strings and afford these pay rises. Some of my listeners are a little bit puzzled. Currently, I understand in England, the offer to nurses is 4%, but a deal was done with barristers at 15%. How come they get the cash and nurses don't, Minister? Well, I think, you know, barristers haven't, if you spoke to barristers, they haven't had a pay rise for a number of years. Well, the same would uh, but be actually, said of nurses, of course, Minister. Well, no, that's not, not the true. Uh, last year, when there was no one got a pay rise, nurses got 3%. And actually, the 4.5% that's the average pay rise for nurses, new student nurses or new qualified nurses uh, got nearly 9%. Uh, so so it's not quite a, 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 as um, but you the know, barristers get 15 that. It is a surprise, isn't it? Who's more important in life, do you imagine, a barrister or a nurse? 
Well, you know, uh, it depends if you're if you're a criminal uh, facing prosecution. Your your barrister is probably pretty important uh, to well, you. Um, if but I'm fighting absolutely, for life, nurses... I think I'll go for a nurse rather than a barrister. But do well, go absolutely. On with this. And you know, as you say, I'm conflicted in this as a nurse. And absolutely, nurses do deserve. Um, you know, I I got into before I was an MP. I worked with the RCN on the pay cap and the pay freeze uh, that was under the Lib Dem coalition government and campaigned for the return of the bursary, which this government has reintroduced, okay. and also for apprenticeship nurses because um, that's going really well in getting new nurses into uh, into to nursing now but, so there's a number of options but absolutely nurses do you know prime minister said this himself last week in his okay. interview that absolutely they do deserve a pay rise but we have to be able to afford it as well so lastly you, you talk about the conflict you have as a member of the rcn you've criticized Sir Keir starmer in the past because labor mps have been on the picket line but you'll be aware that in the strike in december the chief nurse dame ruth may was on a picket line And she's a government official. How appropriate is that? And if she does it again, should she possibly face losing her job? Look, look, Reed's got to uh, represent all nurses. And of course, she wants to go and hear um, from those who are striking on the picket line. She can hear via telephone, can't she, or email? She doesn't need to go on the picket Uh, line. Yeah, but absolutely. But, you know, uh, I don't have necessarily ever, you know, Ruth does a a very good job in in terms of of representing nurses. Should she be on the picket line again? How would you react? Well, you know, that, that's for, for, for Ruth to decide. I'm not going to personally uh, well, criticise her. Well, you criticise uh, Labour MPs and Sir Keir Starmer for going on picket lines. Why wouldn't you criticise this government official? Well, I think, you know, the difference is that Labour are funded by the unions and so they have a, a vested interest this in these strikes uh, the ongoing. Absolutely, but we want to get a resolution and so okay. we do need to speak to those nurses who are striking. That's the door is open. The Secretary of State is very clear he wants to talk about the pay award for this year. So all of us want to speak to nurses because that's the only way we're going to get this resolved and, and the strikes ended. Well, let's all say amen to that idea and thank you for your time, Maria Caulfield, who, remind you, is a nurse herself and is also Minister for Mental Health and Women's Health Strategy. Thank you for that. Two minutes to eight. Let's go quickly now to this story developing. It says here on Turkey, it's actually on the Turkish-Syrian border this powerful earthquake, which the latest, what's called copy handed to me, has the death toll moving over 500. Let's go to Hannah Lucinda Smith, who's Turkey correspondent for The Times. I think she's still reporting from Istanbul.